Investigating Animal Senses by Ashley Chase, read by Miss Tuxhorn. Investigating Animal Senses. An Amplify Science book from the fourth grade unit, Vision and Light. Real animals? The fifth grade class arrived at the science center. The students were excited to see the exhibits, and their teacher had told them they would also be taking a class about animal senses. They lined up and filed into the animal discovery room, which had shelves with many glass boxes holding lizards, snakes, and other animals. On, the, on tables in the back of the room were four big wooden boxes with closed lids so nobody could see what was inside. The students were definitely curious about what might be in there. Lots of questions. The class instructor told the students that her name was Alondra and she asked them what they knew about senses. Kids raised their hands and talked about hearing, vision, smell, touch, and taste. Then Alondra had some questions for them. First, she asked, Do you think senses are the same for every animal? Do all animals see, hear, smell, touch, and taste the same way you do? The kids were pretty sure the answer to that question was no. Harper said, My dog can always hear my mom driving up the driveway a long time before my brother and I do, so I think dogs hear better than people. Alondra told them that today they would investigate senses in different animals. She asked if they wanted to meet the animals they'd be working with, and of course the answer was yes. Alondra went over to the wooden boxes and took out the animals one by one showing them to the class, and carefully putting them back in. She introduced the kids to a turtle, a lizard, and a guinea pig. The students had lots of questions about the animals. What does the turtle like to eat? asked Jordan. One of its favorite snacks is mealworms, said Alondra, showing them a cup of wriggling larvae. Then Kira asked, does the lizard have a sense of hearing? It doesn't look like it has any ears. Alondra showed the class two holes on the side of the lizard heads and explained that those were the ears. Alondra answered as many of the students' questions as she could in the time they, they had. Then she said they would work in groups to find out some of the answers themselves by investigating. She said they would get to investigate this question. Does this animal use vision to find food in its environment, or does it use smell instead? Getting ready to investigate. Elantra talked about how scientists investigate. She said when scientists have a question, they think of ways to test out some possible answers. Investigations give scientists more information, which they could, can use as evidence to support answers to their questions. Next, Elantra showed the class a bunch of different things they could use to investigate animal senses, including animal snacks, plastic plants, containers made of cardboard and plastic, and lots more. You can use whatever you want, said Alondra, but think about how you want to set up your investigation and choose carefully. When scientists investigate, they only change one thing at a time. Something you can change in an investigation is called a variable. Make sure you only change one variable at a time and keep everything else the same. That way, you can tell whether changing the variable made a difference. The students got into groups and began thinking about how to investigate which senses their animals used most. The members of each group started by reading some information about their animal and its environment. Investigating the Turtle Robin and Lisette were excited when Alondra handed their group the information about the turtle. They knew they would need some turtle food for the investigation, and that meant mealworms. Robin suggested they put a mealworm near the turtle and watch to see what happened. Would the turtle sniff at the worm, 
or look at it? What if it does both? asked Lisette. It may look at the mealworm and sniff at the same time, and then how will we be able to tell which sense the turtle uses more? Then Robin had an idea. We can hide the mealworm in this plastic box. It's open at the top, so the smell can come out, but the sides are high, so the turtle can't see the mealworm inside. Then the turtle would have to use smell to find the mealworm. That gave Lisette another idea, and she said, we can put another mealworm under a see-through plastic cup to cover up the smell. So the turtle would have to use vision to find the mealworm. Then we can find out which mealworm the turtle finds first, the one it can smell or the one it can see. They set up the investigation and watched carefully to see what the turtle would do. The turtle ignored the mealworm hidden in the plastic box, but as soon as they put down the mealworm in the plastic cup, this turtle started moving toward it. In fact, the turtle started pushing the cup with its head, trying to get the mealworm. The group thought they had good evidence that the turtle used vision to find its food. And down here in the picture, we have the word mealworm labeled to show you that this is a mealworm. Investigating the lizard. The lizard group also decided to use a plastic cup in their investigation, but they tried something different. They put a mealworm under a clear plastic cup behind the lizard. When the cup was behind the lizard, the lizard didn't seem to notice it. That changed when they moved the cup with the mealworm in front of the lizard, where the lizard could see it. The lizard tried to catch the mealworm right away. So the group was pretty sure lizards use vision to find food in their environment. Layla made a diagram showing that the lizard only tried to get the food when it was right in front of the lizard and easy to see. She labeled lizard. Here's the food, there's the mealworm. Only ate when the worm was in front. Here we have a picture. Here's the diagram, here's the picture. Again, mealworm is labeled, and the lizard, you can see, has the mealworm in front of it. The lizard group also wanted to test the lizard's sense of smell. They decided to use a white plastic tube so that the lizard would be able to smell the food but not see it. Jackson wanted to try putting leaves into the tube instead of the meal, a mealworm this time. But Carla pointed out, maybe this lizard doesn't like leaves. How will we know what made the difference if we switched the food? She reminded Jackson that Alondra said they should only change one variable at a time, and the group decided to use a mealworm again instead of leaves. Just as they expected, the lizard didn't do anything when they put the tube with the mealworm in front of it. Now, the group had strong evidence that lizards use vision instead of smell to find food. So the mealworm is hidden inside this tube. Investigating the guinea pig. The guinea pig group had noticed their animal sniffing a lot, so they thought that guinea pigs probably use smell to find their food. To find out, they put the guinea pig's food, some fresh green leaves, into a cardboard tube. That way, the guinea pig would be able to smell the food but not see it. When they put the leaf-filled tube into the box, the guinea pig hopped right in and started eating. Now the group had good evidence that, the gu that guinea pigs use smell to find food. And here we have a picture and it has a label, fresh leaves hidden inside. For the vision test, the group put leaves in plain sight on top of a wooden block with steps. The guinea pig didn't climb up the steps, so that gave them some evidence that guinea pigs don't use vision to find food in their environment. Jordan made a diagram of their investigation to show what had happened. So here's the picture. 
which is labeled fresh leaves on top of the steps. And down here, Jordan drew his diagram. Here's the steps, here's food, it's labeled. We have guinea pig labeled and food. Again, inside the tube using smell and the guinea pig is going towards the food with the smell instead of the food on the steps. Nate wasn't sure whether vision was the reason the guinea pig didn't climb up though. He asked Alondra, are guinea pigs afraid of heights? Alondra said she wasn't sure, but she had never seen a guinea pig climb very high. The group realized that they had changed more than one thing at a time. The tube with the food hidden inside was on the floor, but the food the guinea pig could see was up high. They changed how high the food was at the same time they changed whether the guinea pig could see it or not. Next time, let's only change one variable, said Jordan. Some answers and more questions. When the kids were done investigating, Alondra invited each group to come up and talk to the rest of the class. She asked them to say what they had learned in their investigations. Then Alondra said, scientists look for answers to their questions by investigating. But those answers can lead to more questions. You can tell us what questions you're still wondering about too. The guinea pig group stood up and presented their evidence that the guinea pig could find food by smell. They explained that they had some evidence supporting the idea that guinea pigs don't use vision as much, but they weren't sure because maybe guinea pigs are afraid of heights. They wondered, are guinea pigs afraid of heights? Was that why the guinea pig didn't climb up to get the food? Next, the turtle group talked to the class. Robin told the class that t turtles definitely use vision more than smell to find food. And Lisette talked about how the turtle pushed the plastic cup around, trying to get the mealworm it could see inside. The group still had some questions. Do turtles eat anything besides mealworms? Do turtles have a sense of hearing? The group had noticed that the turtle didn't even seem to have ear holes the way the lizard did. The lizard group was the last to talk to the class. Jackson said, We learned that lizards use vision more than smell. We also learned that you should only change one thing at a time in an invest investigation. That way, you can tell what makes a difference. Just like the other groups, the lizard group still had lots of questions. Can lizards see different colors? How good is a lizard's sense of hearing? Do any animals use hearing to find their food? When everyone was done, Alondra told the class that they could find the answers to some of their questions by reading what scientists had already learned about these animals. Then she said, but people are always coming up with new questions and some questions haven't been answered yet. To find those answers, you'll have to investigate. Glossary. Diagram. An illustration that shows how something works or what its parts are. Environment. All the living and non-living things in an area. Evidence. Information that supports an answer to a question. Investigate. To try to learn more about something. Investigation, an attempt to find out about something. Sense, there's two kinds of sense. One of them is a noun, which is a thing. How an animal gets information from its environment. The other one is a verb, which means it's the action, sense. And that means to get information from the environment. Both of these words, the noun and the verb, were used in this book. Variable. Variable is something that you can change in an investigation, and vision is the ability to see.